the wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they take on Inter next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek. For Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Jack Grealish plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Jack Grealish plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Walker. Diesch. Manuel Akanji. Grealish. Rodri. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Martinez. Now with Mkhitaryan.
Stones. Mares. And cutting inside. Body in the way. Mares! Strong hand on that one. And mopping up defensively. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, just look at this. He couldn't have hit it any better, could he? This is the perfect example of a bicycle kick. Valencia well, get the ball rolling again. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action. And foul it is then. A very effective challenge put in. Difficult to stop him. Gundogan! And able to get a body in the way. Perfectly positioned to take it away. It's a promising City move. From a long way out. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. And he did well to cut it out. Martinez. Happy to take on the shot. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now. And surely the goal will come. Rodri De Bruyne now good looking ball and deliver towards the back post and in the end no damage done Henrik Mkhitaryan and the pass not quite accurate enough and a throw in then an astute piece of defending Mares on to De Bruyne Holland but into the keeper's gloves Henrik Mkhitaryan it's with Chalhanolu Inter have given away possession Lukaku and Sese coming away with it Riyad Mahrez Lukaku on the scent of something positive a real opening now 
Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Grealish. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Strong play here. And the referee takes exception to the challenge, free kick. Lukaku and well, the flag has gone up it was really close Walker on to Mares. Walker now De Bruyne will he play it in firing it in well kept out Kevin De Bruyne with the corner not away completely. Grealish. Now with Mares. Holland. Delivering it into the box. And his direction was just a little bit off. most certainly was free kick given intercepting it intelligently he's got space and a goal kick is the outcome Federico Di Marco untidy on the ball and De Bruyne in a useful looking position but will there be an end product a oh, terrific pass just couldn't capitalise there Barella oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Stones now with Mares just knocking it around looking to carve out a chance 
Rodri. John Stones. Now with Mares. And back with Rodri. De Bruyne now. And players waiting in the centre. Hold on. Able to close down the shot. Holland, player in the way again. So a deflection, and they can get ready for their corner kick routine. <laughs> Put in by De Bruyne. It might still be problematic. De Bruyne, targets available, cross comes in. And I think the threat has been averted. Getting in there to intercept. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. Federico Di Marco. Chananolu. Martinez. Martinez! Determined block. Gundogan. On to Holland. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it petered out. Lukaku. Oh, what an opportunity! Still could be dangerous. Well, that's the end of that for now. Holland. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Gundogan. Opportunity here. Is he going to put it away? Oh, it's a goal! A celebratory moment as they jump in front. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And they're playing once again. Manchester City with the advantage. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And the right place to cut out the pass. Mkhitaryan. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Good effort here! Well, that is how to strike a free kick. And that's how to make a save. Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. And in the end, no damage done. to the advanced position can he take advantage and a goal it was served up on a silver platter for him well here's the replay and it's a simple finish in the end but where was the defending that's just not good enough
And with that, the first half draws to a close. to the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory Barella and it's with Dumfries well read to ease the pressure Gundogan. Plenty of support here. De Bruyne in the centre. Not the best clearance. Oh, blocked it! <laughs> He's driven in the corner. It might still be problematic. A routine save. being pressed here well a good place to win it back and let's see what it leads to Jack Grealish Gundogan cross blocked out of play City throw Gundogan delivered into the area here. Oh, that is extraordinary! True athleticism to make contact in that fashion, and it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. underway again so comfortable for City it's turning into a trouncing Barella Lukaku Martinez is it going to be Mkhitaryan oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Manuel Akanji it's with Gundogan and back with Grealish and getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back and the counter-attack is on options available Lukaku High quality defending. Safe pair of hands did his job. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more.
Manuel Akanji and Grealish Rodri and return to Grealish marvellous anticipation Walker Mares the ball with Rodri De Bruyne in the centre no nonsense clearance Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Very quick thinking there. Can he put it in? And effectively parried away by the keeper. And blocked for now. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And they will make the change now. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Mares on to Holland Rodri on to Grealish well wide by a hair's breadth almost had it where he wanted it Read it well defensively. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And that puts them in position. Lukaku. Well, this would help them get back into the game. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. Ruben Dias. Akanji has it. Gundogan. On to Grealish. It comes to nothing in the end. Twenty minutes to go. Well, play is halted for the time being as the physio goes to work. Now back underway with a drop ball. Francesco Acerbi. It's with Chalhanolu. In with a chance. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Lukaku. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal.
Well, away they go once more. The push is on from Inter. Can they find an equaliser? Alvarez. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not cleared. Long way out this. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, a lovely ball. Martinez! He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Going short. Mickey Tarian with the cross. Well, nothing untoward happened. Efficient play to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to get there. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And over comes the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Walker. Here's Grealish. Perfect challenge. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. But quick thinking defensively. Silva. Rodri. And now Stones. Given away by City. Grealish. Let's fly here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Barella. Now with Mikitarian. Dumfries. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. Alessandro Bastoni. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And Edison has somehow kept it out. And over it comes. And the no-nonsense clearance. Counter-attacking, very much an option. He's in here. Is it going to be? Just cleared away in the nick of time. Chalanolu. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And the defender coming out on top against Lukaku. Grealish, he must finish, and he read it really well, fine save, another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And De Bruyne firing it over, it might still be problematic, but it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well it's a difficult skill and on this occasion he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. That's really good and effective physical play. 
Damian. Enter fighting against the clock and the scoreline, but still they believe. Martinez. Given away by Inter. Brozovic. Barella has it. Lukaku. And here's Brozovic. Moving forward effectively. A fine block. And there it is, full-time, Manchester City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester City well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they're victors Manchester City